Certainly a big day in the race for the White House. Voters across Iowa will be gathering tonight to caucus and cast their ballots. Today could be the coldest caucus day on record, though. Republican candidates are in the final stretch of campaigning. Here's ABC's Rena Roy sharing the latest from Des Moines. It's the first major test of the Republican race. Day, get excited. Iowans across the state gathering at churches, schools, and community centers for this election year tradition. Iowa loves this. We love the caucuses. But this time around could be the coldest on record with sub-zero temperatures. It's been a challenging last uh, 24 hours. It's such an important caucus. It's such a critical time right now. That, our, that people will show up. Candidates braving the bitter cold to make their final pitch to voters, urging their supporters to show up in a big way. Let's get everybody out. Take five people with you. Whatever you got to do, we're going to get it done. If you all do your part, if you all give me your vote tonight, I promise you, we will stop at nothing to do ours. Former President Donald Trump holding a dominant lead. We're going to have a tremendous night tonight. The people are fantastic, and I've never seen spirit like they have. Former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis now in a heated race for second place. Haley ahead by several points in recent polling. DeSantis staking his entire campaign on Iowa, visiting all 99 counties, holding more events than Trump and Haley combined. We have an opportunity tonight uh, to really chart a new course forward for this country. DeSantis tells ABC News regardless of the outcome tonight, he's staying in the race. Rena Roy, ABC News, Des Moines, Iowa. Well, after tonight's caucus, all eyes head to New Hampshire. The Granite State will be the next to cast their vote in the first primaries of the election season on January 23rd, followed by South Carolina Democrats on February 3rd.